there are so many different metrics you could use to evaluate a pathology program. And you could say, well, what matters to me is what fellowships residents go on to get, or what matters to me is how much time I spend in surge path, or what matters to me is whether or not I have to gross a lot. But I think there are other intangibles that, that really are important. What is the environment like? Do the residents band together? Is it um, a, a collaborative environment? You know, whether there's a, a strong record of mentorship and helping you achieve your goals. So, you know, I really think we, we achieve on so many of those fronts here at the University of Colorado. So one of my favorite things about this program um, that I really felt well when I was on my residency trail was how close everybody was. So the actual residents themselves and all of the faculty. People, I came for the people, I stayed for the people and um, it's a really good um, community. Uh, it's a good place to practice. There's a lot of uh, support and camaraderie. The faculty and fellow residents are a very supportive group and they provide advice and the kind of environment that's conducive for one to pursue their interests and, and career goals. And they really help you kind of find your path uh, in that direction. I wanted a program that had um, a good APCP balance and I wanted a place that uh, where I felt that the CP rotations wouldn't be uh, such that you would just sit there and just read Henry's all day. Um, I feel like the faculty here are really uh, interested in teaching. Um, we have didactic sessions um, and curriculums throughout uh, many of the rotations, which is very helpful. Nice thing about our program as well is that there's, there's multiple training sites. So uh, when you're in the clinical laboratory at the University of Colorado Hospital, uh, it, something of a different environment than the clinical laboratory at the VA Medical Center or the clinical laboratory at Children's Hospital or the clinical laboratory uh, at Denver Health. Uh, we, we've got all the weird, strange, rare neoplasms and tumors, all the very complex, difficult, recurrent type specimens, all the minimal residual disease type specimens searching for very low levels of persistent disease. We have such a wide geographic area where we are the only major tertiary medical center. We really do see patients from Montana, Wyoming, Nebraska, um, New Mexico. And, you know, we, we do have this very vast uh, population base that we serve. We offer a great diversity of specimens, a great diversity of exposure to um, different types of practices. We have pediatric practice, we have um, adult practice. Um, we have multiple different types of genetic um, practices, um, both cytogenetic as well as molecular. Um, and I think that offers um, a good range of education for residents coming into the program. Okay, how would I describe the residency program? Uh, other than it's great and we have the best residents in the world. Okay, what's great about our residency program, first of all, is that we have a huge variety of specimens. A great variety of patients means that you have a great variety of specimens, and that, of course, means that you're going to get exposed to everything that you need to be exposed to in order to be a good pathologist. Compared to the institutions where I trained and where I've also rotated and seen, I think ours is a little bit more informal and laid back, um, which I think is a good thing. Um, I think it allows the residents actually to learn better, to be in that slightly less anxiety-ridden environment than some other residency programs I've seen. At the same time, you know, we are a major university hospital, so the residents, when they're here rotating on surge path or heme path, are busy and are seeing things and are working and are learning on the job. Another thing that sets us, sets us apart from other pathology programs is that we really have strong clinical pathology training. So that's something that we don't just give you a book and tell you to sit in the corner and read. We will show you things. I think even though that it's a very welcoming and open environment, we still have high expectations. So when you have that combination of a comfortable environment and yet we're still striving to um, reach a certain expectation or level, I think you ultimately have a very successful outcome.
So I think Colorado, in many studies on fitness and happiness, and we'll, we'll reflect this, that Colorado is one of the best states to live in in the country right now. Specifically, things I think of that I really love, there's a period in November where, this, where it feels like the resolution of the mountains. You can always see the mountains. But in November, it feels like the resolution of that image gets really, really high and crisp. And you can see all the details of the mountains every morning when you drive to work. Almost every single weekend, um, to some degree, I have spent in the mountains, in the foothills, whether it's skiing, snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, um, whether it's hiking, um, doing some trail running, um, I am out there. We are in driving distance to Vail, Breckenridge, Telluride, Aspen. We were just at, um, we drove to Utah to Zion. We're gonna go to Moab soon. We're driving next month to Yellowstone. So um, there's so much to do. It is such a beautiful area. I think that if you are interested in community practice, I think this would be a great place for training. If you are interested in an academic university type of position, I think this is equally a great place for training for something like that as well. If the, the main concern is, first of all, support from the faculty, we definitely have that. If there's concern for how you're going to get along with your fellow residents and if they're going to be supportive of you as a brand new first year resident, we've got that going for you. If you want a well-balanced education between anatomic pathology and clinical pathology with a good variety of specimens and being able to learn about those specimens from subspecialists in a lot of different areas of pathology, we've got that going for us. And also, we've got a lot of opportunities for research. So if you're thinking maybe you want to do research, but you're not really sure, you have the opportunity to dabble in that as well. So if that's what you're looking for in a residency program, then yes, you should definitely rank us number one. We've had residents go on to do really top-notch fellowships across the country in every possible subspecialty. And it really speaks to how broad of an education base you get, that it allows you to springboard it to whatever you want. I'm Vaughn Samdi, I'm an associate professor and also the director of the residency training program uh, at the University of Colorado. You will get a rigorous training here. You will be a confident uh, and competent um, pathologist once you are done here. Uh, but while we focus on the training, we also value your wellness and your overall personal and professional growth. Hopefully we'll meet at some point in the future and thank you.